book about the zoo. But before we begin, we're going to get centered on the floor or on the mat, in the chair, wherever you are. And we're going to rub our hands together, rub them, make them really, 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 really warm, and press them on your chest and take a big breath in through your nose and blow it out your mouth. And we're going to do it two more times with our breath ball. And if you don't have a breath ball at home, that's okay. You can use your hands. So you can start with your hands together. And when I say breathe in, you can open your hands. And when I say breathe out, you can close your hands. Okay, so now let's try it with the breath ball. So we're going to breathe in through our nose and the breath ball is going to open. And then we breathe out through our mouth and the breath ball closes. Let's try it one last time. And out. Excellent breathing, yogi friends. Now we're going to get to our book. Our book today is called Zoo Zen. And it's by Kristen Fisher and illustrated by Susie Schaefer. Have you ever been to the zoo before? There's lots of different animals to see. Lila is ready to try something new. Can she learn yoga from friends at the zoo? What do you think? Hmm. She rolls out her mat and puts on her yoga pants to pose like the creatures and mimic each stance. So let's, let's get our mat out. Let's pick up our mat and let's roll it out if it's not already. And we're gonna put on our pants. Let's put on our yoga shirt. And let's put on our yogi inoculars. Cause we're gonna be on the lookout for lots of different zoo animals doing yoga today. So she's getting all prepared. She sees one balancing bear grabs onto his feet. Lila also grabs and lifts from her seat. Do you see the bears grabbing his feet? So let's try what Mr. Bear is doing. So let's take our, can you show me your peace fingers? These are your peace fingers. And you're gonna put them together and you can touch them on your toes or you can wrap your hand around your foot and you're gonna bring one leg up. And if this is where you're comfortable, this is where you can stay today. If you want an extra challenge, you can bring both legs up together, like our bear friend at the zoo. And you can relax your legs. Let's see what animals Lila finds next. Ooh, in the cobra pit, two snakes glide around. She slithers and wiggles all over the ground. So let's come to our bellies, just like the snakes and like Miss Lila. We're gonna go all the way down flat on our belly. And we're gonna put our hands and our elbows and our forearms on the mat. And we're gonna lift our chin and our chest and we're gonna slither and hiss like a snake. Just like that, you were some slimy, slithery snakes. I wonder who she finds next. Three eagles gaze on. Lila glances up high. Twisted yet steady, she's ready to fly. So we're gonna come into our eagle pose. So eagle, we're gonna need to come to a nice, tall standing position. And you're gonna bend your legs like you're sitting in a chair and you can cross one foot over the other. And if this is where you would like to stay today, that is great. If you want an extra challenge, you can lift your toes up off the mat. You can even wrap your foot around your leg and you can sit down even further in your chair. So let's unwind our legs and let's switch. So we're gonna sit back down in our chair Cross your other leg over, and if this is where you stay, that's great. If you want that super challenge, you can even wrap your other foot around your leg. And you can even bring in your eagle arms. Ah! 
Let's find out. Where do you think Lila went next with her animal adventure? Oh, lions stalk and they prowl. In this pride, there are four hands pressed to her knees. Lila bellows a roar. So we're gonna work on our lion's breath. So let's come sit crisscross yogi sauce. And can you take a big breath in through your nose? And when you blow out, stick your tongue out and roar like a lion. Ah! It's kind of a silly breath. Let's try it again. In through your nose. Stick out your tongue, breathe out. Ah! Nice work, yogi friends. Five camels with humps want her to bend back. She grips onto her heels. Now she's got the hack, the knack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to our knees next. So can you come all the way up to your knees? You put your feet behind you and you're gonna put your hands right above your bottom and push your hips forward and you can look up with your eyes just like that into our camel pose. And you can come out by sitting on your heels and then we'll come crisscross yogi sauce again. Shri Pranar yogi noculars, let's see where she's gonna go next. Oh. Like six crocodiles perched up on their claws, she's on her tummy and takes time to pause. Do you see how our crocodiles are pausing? They're taking a rest, so we can take that rest too. So we're gonna lay back on our belly like where we were for our snake, and we're gonna make a little pillow with our hands just like this, and you can rest one cheek on your hands. Take a big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Ah. And you can rest your other cheek on the other side. Take a big breath in. And blow out. Ah. That feels nice and relaxing, doesn't it, on your body? Now that she's rested like a crocodile. Oh my goodness. Seven dolphins ride and swim close to her mat. Raising her bottom, her forearms stay flat. Can you make a dolphin sound? Do you know what they sound like? I think that's right. I think that's what they sound like too. So let's come onto our forearms, which is kind of what we did with our cobra earlier. And so we have our arms, our hands, and our arms on the, on the mat. And then we put our feet out behind us and we push our bottom up to the sky. And this is called our dolphin pose. And you can make your dolphin noise. <laughs> as a little dolphin noise. And then you can come down and bend your legs beneath you and slowly come up. We don't want to get up too fast because then it might make us a little dizzy. She's been all over in her yoga adventure today. Eight gorillas screech. <laughs> Lila folds in half, claps hands under feet and lets out a laugh. Can you laugh like a gorilla? Ho, 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 ho. So we're gonna come back up to our standing position. We're gonna stand all the way up, nice and tall. And then we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna flip them over, boop, so our fingertips are facing the ground. And we're gonna bend down towards our feet. And you can have your feet out as wide as your mat. And you can place your hands underneath and you can have your toes give your hands a little massage. This is our gorilla. You can go side to side with your gorilla pose. This is our, can you make your gorilla sound? Go, oh, ah. So she went and saw eight swinging gorillas. Next, she found nine scaly lizards climbing onto a stone. Her leg is a tail. She's only just grown. So let's see. We're gonna come into our plank position, just like this. 
So your hands are on the mat and our feet are on the mat. And to come and lounge like a lizard, we're gonna take one step forward just like this. And this is where you can stay for today. And this is, we can lounge, we can look up with our eyes, we can look down towards the floor, whatever you're comfortable with. And then to switch sides, we bring our front leg back nice and straight, and then we bend our other leg up by our hand. And this is our lounging lizard, because lizards like to be on rocks to get really nice and warm. And then to come out, you're gonna put both legs back and bend your knees forward. So she's seen nine lizards, and next she sees 10 frogs by a pond, some hip and some hop. She stretches out wide, her arms are on the prop. So, when we come into our frog pose, you can bring your legs out wide, just like this, and you can come forward and sit back just like this to have your legs nice and wide behind you. Your knees and the tops of your feet are touching. And this is our frog pose. Ribbit, ribbit. It stretches right here on the inside of your legs. And to come out of our frog pose, we wanna put our hands on the mat and we wanna gently bring our knees back together. And you go, we wanna be really gentle with our body because we're stretching our muscles and making them stronger. Use yoga when you want to calm down and feel strong. Remember to breathe. Use only your nose. Inhale and exhale. Stay calm in each pose. Can we all take a big breath together? And out through your mouth. Always be present right here and right now. Show that you're thankful and conclude with a bow. So when we finish our yoga, we bring our hands together, rub, 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 and we sing our namaste song. I bet you know the tune. You can join in whenever you want. We say, there's a little light in me that shines to the light in you. There's a little light in me that shines to the light in you. There's a little light in me that shines to the light in you. Namaste, namaste is what we say. Thank you so much for joining me today for Storytime Yoga, and I look forward to playing yoga with you really soon. Have a stellar day.